constantly amazed by the wisdom in films. Here's what I heard in What Happens in Vegas. If you stop betting, you never have to lose. Got me thinking, isn't that so true? Most of the times, we stay in uncomfortable positions, then do something new. What if those two words conjure up nightmare images of failing and disaster? So we stay in inaction. So that's what we'll talk about today. Grabbing the fear by its horn and taming it. Welcome Matador. Hi, I'm Sheila and you're watching Lumia 24. Light on. Okay, so here's the thing. You may have been told that fear is not real. What's that acronym going around? It's such a common platitude. Even a grade school student will probably tell you. Fear is nothing but false evidence appearing real. Clever, but really one of those bullshit things going around. Fear is very real. It's a conditioned response of our mind who is our protector and has the primary job to keep us safe. So anything new, anything unfamiliar and the mind goes, no, 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 danger, danger. And within five seconds flat, it will give you a list of believable reasons why you shouldn't do it. And not just that, it causes physiological changes in our body. And that's why when confronted with something new, something different, we escape into overeating, binge watching, surfing social media, shopping, paralyzed into inaction. Now here's an interesting thing that you may not know. Fear and excitement cause the exact same changes in your body. Let me repeat that. Fear and excitement cause the exact same changes in your body. Your heart beats faster, your palms may get clammy, you feel yourself sweating, you feel butterflies in your stomach or you feel your stomach drop. So whether you're on a roller coaster or knocking on your boss's door to ask for a race, the body is going through the exact changes. The only difference is what's happening in that brain of yours. If you're stepping on that roller coaster, your brain goes, woohoo, here I go. And you're already thinking of the fun you will have, the stories you'll share and those pics you will Instagram. If you're knocking on your boss's door, your mind goes, don't do that. Don't do that. What if, what if he says no? What if he demotes you? Don't get into his line of vision. Stay invisible. And this difference here is what we are going to use to train your mind to act in spite of fear. Your mind is like a dog. Train it. Command, reward, repeat. Command, reward, repeat. And that's exactly what I'm going to pull out from Sheila's toolbox. Now, I'm a very practical person. I'm not going to say feel the fear and do it anyway. Though I may have used it in the past before I knew any better. What we will do is use what we now know about fear and excitement and beat the brain at its own game. Remember, fear and excitement, exact same reactions in the body. The only difference is what your brain calls it. And you have five seconds before you take the plunge or back off. This tool is called the five second rule and I found it in this incredible book by Mel Robbins. Here's how you use it. Let's say you have to make a pitch to a new client. First thing you will do is create an anchor thought. Now what's an anchor thought? It's a thought that will keep you anchored or focused instead of going into a full blown panic attack. Picture the excitement after you've made a wonderful presentation, the applause you will get and the client that you've signed up. Now when you're going to that presentation, your mind goes into an overdrive and your body starts showing signs of that agitation. You cannot control what's happening in your body, but you can always, always control what's happening in your brain. You have to take control of your thoughts. So here's what you do. Count 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is really important. And then use your anchor picture. The countdown 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is really important because it activates the prefrontal cortex. 
the front part of your brain which is responsible for logic, reasoning and action. It wants that part of the brain that you are preparing ground for something different. And that makes the brain ready to accept the new reframed anchor thought. Tell yourself, this is not fear, it's excitement. And immediately your mind switches gears to excitement and you find yourself out of the fear zone. Use it for everything, big or small. Whether you have to perform on stage, get onto that aeroplane, stand up to your child's class teacher, or when you need to take huge decision of finally quitting your job and following your dream. It works every single time. And as with everything else, practice, practice, practice. I hope this tool will help you get onto that bus that moves you from inaction to action. Go somewhere safe if it makes you feel good or just drive onto an uncharted territory. I hope to see you on the other side of fear. Write to me. Tell me how the 5 second rule helped you. Remember to like and share this video. You may help some fellow travelers on their journey to freedom and fulfillment. And for more such life hacks, press the bell button on your video to subscribe to this channel and receive alerts.